In this video, I'm going to talk about the use of for each loops with 2D arrays. So we've seen for each loops with arrays and array lists. Now we're going to apply them to 2D arrays. So in this uh, program here, I have a 2D array of, of integers. It's a 5x5. Five five. And our regular for loops, uh, I have two of them. The first one is going to uh, populate the array with um, products of rows and columns, like a multiplication table. And the second set of nested for loops are going to print it out. So this is our basic nested for loop uh, structure. So I'll run the program so you can see it. Compile it. And when you run it, you can see I get a uh, 2D array printout of the contents of the, of the array. So we can also use for each loops, as I mentioned, with 2D arrays. So let me comment out the for loop here. And then let's talk about how we can use a for each loop. And the basic idea is this. It's also a nested for loop, or for each loop. The first, or the outer for loop, is going to, ext going to extract a single row from the 2D array. And the inner for loop will run through that array and print every one of those numbers out. So if outer for loop extracts an array, because if you recall, a 2D array is an array of arrays. So I'm going to grab an array first, then the inner for loop will go through it. So here's the structure. So for each. And I'm going to say int row, because I'm going to extract a, an entire row from the array first. So there's my outer for loop, and outer for. And then with that row, I'm going to have my inner for loop. I'm going to say for each int, I'll call it num, in the row, which of course is the, a single dimension of 1D array. I'm then going to and inner for, I'm going to print out that actual integer, system.out.println, num, and I'll add a space in here for that. And then after I print an entire row, then I'm going to print a, I should not have a line here, print a line so we go to the next row. So let's run this program. Let me compile it and run it. And you can see I have the same 2D uh, structure. Now, if you look at the, the two for loops side by side, here's our here's our regular for loop, and here's our for each loop. You can see it's a lot more compact. We don't need to keep track of rows and columns or counters. We don't need to increment then with the plus plus. Uh, all we just need to do is have the, the same structure of the inner and outer for loop so we can uh, process those numbers. So that's a simple example of how we can use for each loops with 2D arrays.